Aquarius, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers, thank you. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Aquarius, this is a general energy check-in. It either resonates or it doesn't resonate. Please do not try to force the shoe to fit. It will only confuse you. You could check your, check your sun or moon rising. That may help you to connect the dots or your natal chart. Or there's a possibility that this is just not your reading, like I said, and that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information is in my description box. Okay, so Aquarius, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And we have here the Thinking Man. Ten of Swords in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. And the Hermit. So it looks like Aquarius... You're taking time out for yourself. You're isolating yourself. You've retreated. You kind of just like don't want to be around anybody right now. And you know what it is? You're going through a, a phase right now of a, a very strong spiritual growth. So I'm picking up two sides of you, though. There's two groups of you. Some of you, you are in this time of isolation. You are allowing yourself to grow spiritually a lot of you your psychic abilities are coming to the surface your spiritual gifts are coming to the surface and you are learning how to uh, recognize them use them hone them master them a lot of you too are very very good at um astral traveling mm -hmm. a lot of you like you travel all the time <laughs> you travel all the time so this is this is that time of you becoming more aware of those things. Also, you're learning something. I, I feel that some of you are learning from things that happened in the past. Someone was in a relationship with someone and it was just bad. It was bad. Uh, some of you were in a relationship with someone where it was very abusive and you almost died. This is, I just got this, um, this is with a similar reading with the Libra collective as well maybe this is a theme for air signs like some of you you just made it i heard like you you escape by the skin of your teeth right uh, because this person if they got had the opportunity or if they got away with it they would have tried to kill you some of you were in a very very abusive relationship with someone and there was a lot of physical violence mm-hmm hmm. I, I'm seeing someone in my third eye being like slapped around, like slapped in their head all the time. Mm -hmm. Just, just handled really, really rough and really wrong. Mm -hmm. So I feel Aquarius, you are, you left this situation and you are just taking time for yourself. Uh, you're healing, you're recuperating, and you're thinking about the things that happened to you in the, in your past, and you are. You're getting over it, right? You're healing. Some of you, you went through a very horrible situation with someone, a very horrible experience with someone. Someone who just, like, they... Anything they could have done to hurt you, they did, right? Some things, they were absolutely... What, what's the word? I'm hearing irre, irreparable damage. Things that were irreparable, they done. Just, you know, may, I call those ones the major violations, right? Where you just, you just don't fucking go there with people. If you care about them, you don't go there with people. And some of you were dealing with somebody who would go there all the time with you. Major violations. And they would do this repeatedly. Mm -hmm. You got over somebody who would stab you in the back. Every opportunity, any chance, they wouldn't even think about it. Like it was not a thought. To stab Aquarius in the back, whatever. This you were dealing with someone who really did not care for you at all. Mm-hmm. 
So you don't talk to this person anymore. There was a stalemate and you are serious about that. Like you've dug your heels in, 10 toes down. You're not fucking with this person. No, you're not talking to them. You don't want anything to do with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody blocked someone, social media, uh, blocked text messages. Someone doesn't even let their kids speak to their father because uh, this masculine was very abusive towards you. Mm -hmm. So now they're just cut, you cut them off from everything. They don't see the kids. They don't see you and you're gone. Somebody moved away far too. Mm -hmm. And someone moved in with family members and you have some big brothers and they're big, <laughs> right? Like your ex is not going to step to you because your brothers will beat their ass. Yes. Somebody has some like big uncles, just big masculine family members who do not like your ex. So that's a wrap. Mm -hmm. And you had to move back in with your family because you need to sort yourself out. You need to sort your life out again after escaping this near death experience with this person. This person tried to kill you mm -hmm. mentally, emotionally, some of you physically. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing someone getting choked and blacking out. Yeah. Yeah. Getting taken away in an ambulance. So it's like you are reflecting and um, you're going to be learning something. For some of you, you're going to meet someone, uh, a masculine energy that is going to teach you something and it may end up turning into a romantic relationship. Spirit said when you are ready. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you, you uh, whatever you're learning, it's, it's uh, spiritual emotional mental somebody is you could be meeting a teacher or you have met someone a spiritual teacher right now but you're going to be learning something that's going to uh it's going to help you professionally or personally to improve your life so spirit wants you to pay attention to this person mm -hmm. for some of you this is going to lead to a new relationship a better relationship but a lot of you you're just in hermit mode right now and you're just uh, it's like you're taking stock and taking review of the things that happened to you in your life and you're learning. You've learned a lot, Aquarius, a lot. Mm -hmm. And then there's another group of you, Spirit said it's not that many, but uh, there's a group of you where you need to learn because it's like you... It's like you see the things that you do, but you're not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. You kind of just thought uh, you're in denial or I don't feel like it's denial, though. I feel like it's just, you know, the stuff that you're doing, but you don't want to change it. You're just not trying to change. You've decided that that's what it is. You've dug your heels in and you're being very stubborn about learning these lessons. Uh, there's a group of you Aquarius that you were the one doing the stabbing in the back. Mm hmm. Stabbing others in the back, mistreating others, abusing people, misuse of power, I'm hearing, misuse of authority. There's a small group of you in this collective that was just behaving bad. You're going on bad and you're not learning your lessons and spirit wants you to know that that's fine. You're just going to keep going through the same things over and over again until you do. Mm -hmm. So hats off for those of you that have been learning your lessons. Because you have good things coming towards you. This is your time to um, just take time out to recuperate, excuse me, Mercury retrograde, recuperate, uh, regenerate, recharge, you know, and move forward. Move forward in your life with your newfound wisdom, with your newfound spirituality. Mm -hmm. I, there is somebody who goes to uh, different dimensions. You go to different planets. Uh, when you sleep, you astral travel. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that you know, you don't even know how the fuck you know that. Because it's not from this world. I think that's so fucking cool. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. But this is a very strong and prominent time of spiritual growth for you, Aquarius. So spirit wants you to continue to learn, right? Continue to learn and continue to move forward. Learn from the things that you've gone through in your past and use them to improve your life in the present, moving into your future. So I drew a card for guidance from Whispers From Within Oracle deck. So let's see what guidance spirit has for you. Ah, <laughs> we have alone time. 
So this is spend time alone with your thoughts today. And this is, look at that. Let me, let me show you something. This is spend time alone with your thoughts today. Mm hmm Yes. Spend time with yourself. Let go of FOMO. Fear of missing out. This is so funny because uh, Libra got this exact same thing. Let go of FOMO. So, so I feel like for some of you, you stayed with this person who continued to stab you in your back and just create major violations. They did major violations. And that's because you were afraid of leaving them because you thought you would be missing something. You thought you would be missing out on something. But Spirit wants you to let go of that because you're not missing anything. You were really missing yourself. Mm -hmm. Where did Aquarius go? Because the Aquarius in their power is not going to sit around and let no one deal with them like this. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Learn to love yourself on a deeper level by spending more time alone. This is what this alone time is for as well. This is spirit. Uh, I feel like spirit's separating you so that you learn how to be good with you so that you don't feel like you need to attach yourself to someone or be in a relationship or be around people that really don't care about you. Mm -hmm. Set firm boundaries with others in order to commit to spending time alone. I'm busy right now. I'm spending time with me. I can't help you. I can't hang out with you, right? Or for this person in the past, you know what? You violated way too fucking much. Stay the fuck away from me. Mm -hmm. I don't fucks with you. Boundary set. Mm -hmm. Build self-confidence by doing more solo activities. The more you spend time alone, the more you become comfortable with yourself. The more you become comfortable in your own energy. The more you start to do things and, and even recognize things that you like to do for yourself. You know, as a Scorpio myself, I'm, I am very big on spending time with myself as a Scorpio, as an empath, as an energy healer, intuitive reader. I have to spend time on my own because I am constantly absorbing energy. So I think it's really good that you are, you are taking this time for yourself and being given this time for yourself for you to remember who you are mm -hmm, and focus on you. So Spirit wants you to just build your confidence. A lot of you, you took, you took major hits on your confidence with this person in the past. For some of you, this was friendships. You took major hits with friendships because the people betrayed you. Mm -hmm. So Spirit wants you to learn how to be good with you. You don't need them. You need you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. If not, that's cool. Another time. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap this reading up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.